Brian and I first started playing backgammon a good year and a half ago uh, from an impulse board rental from my local library, this exact board. We had this board for a good two weeks and then it was time to send it back. And in that two weeks, we couldn't stop playing. And maybe some of you out there are in the exact same boat and you're looking at getting your first board. One thing I did wanna say is none of these boards were given to me, well, except for actually this one, cause it was a birthday present, but all, the, all these boards were bought with, uh, with my own money or uh, they're being rented right now. And I just wanna kinda of go through them and give a breakdown and hopefully it will help you along the way as well. All right, the $5 category. The reason why this one is so cheap, other than the fact that it's a very small board, is that I actually got this used. Something a lot of people don't think about when they're looking for backgammon boards, so at least I didn't right away, is that there are a ton of used boards out there. So checking out your Facebook marketplace, any local thrift stores, any online, uh, basically, buy, sell things in your area is a great place to keep an eye out for backgammon boards. Something like this that's nice and small and portable and that basically gives you an idea if you if you like this game or not. Do you want to invest in, a, in another board down the road? Do you, is this good enough? This is a great place to start to really get a feel for backgammon itself. Maybe you know right away that you wanna go above this tier, that's okay. And this is definitely the smallest board we're gonna be looking at today. But uh, I actually really like the sound of these dice cups and these little dice. It's just got a, it's, got, it's just got a good little sound to it. It's an 11 inch board, I believe. This is a small little guy and uh, comes with very small little dice. The pieces, of course, are very small as well. And it does come with a doubling cube as well. And it's just a nice little portable board. All right, we have the board that started it all a little over a year and a half ago. I re-rented it from the library just for this video. This is a great little board, great starter board, maybe even a great forever board, depending who you are. This one is a 15 inch board. You can see the size difference here. And uh, it, it, it basically, as you go up in price, for the most part, the bigger the board's gonna get and the bigger the pieces are going to get. So this is also a stitch surface board. And as you can see, yeah, basically exactly what I'm saying is that the, the points are stitched on here. One thing that I did wanna say overall to inform your purchase is that I'm not a huge fan of the, the stitch on surfaces. They look cool, they are fun to play on, but long term I have noticed boards, they start to at the, especially at the top here at the lip, they start to come up. So when you're sliding your checkers around on the board, they'll, they'll start catching and uh, they'll just, it starts coming up on the sides here. That doesn't happen for a while. Obviously, if you're playing every day, it might happen within a year, maybe two, but basically you're going to get your money's worth out of it in this case. But I did wanna mention that because I have played on a few where it did start coming up and it just makes it a little less enjoyable to slide the pieces around. If that doesn't bother you, no big deal, but that is something I did wanna mention. As you can see here, I'll have the two pieces here, you can see the checker sizes start to get uh, a little different between the two. The nice thing I've seen with this board as well is that you can get it in a bunch of different color varieties and also sizes as well. Like I said, this one is a 15 inch, but there were a couple other size variations on Amazon as well, which is really nice. The cups on this one, actually surprisingly, I'm not sure how much that first $5 board that I was showing was priced brand new, but the cups on this one actually feel a little cheaper than the $5 one. Bigger dice, and still not a bad sound, not a bad sound at all. This set comes with your full-size dice, what you would see in most board games in general. So nice little, Nice, it's nice to have a little bit bigger dice. That first set, the dice were pretty small, although like I said, I did really enjoy the sound of those. As far as the build quality, it's mostly in a pretty good a pretty good place, I'd say. It's uh, got a padded exterior on the side here, uh, and on, well, on both sides, really. It's got nice little metal clasps here. 
and then the handle. Uh, it's not the, the sturdiest of handles, but uh, it'll, it, it should last you a while. Uh, there's actually two sets like this at my local library, and from what I've seen, they, they get rented out quite a bit. One of them does have a little bit of a tear here, and uh, the foam kind of is coming out a little bit. But other than that, they seem to be holding up to the abuse that a, a lot of library things would get uh, subjected to. But this is a great little board. And uh, like I said, we played on this for two weeks, literally every day, and we had a blast. So great little board. So now we're on to the first set that was officially my first board. And this is a nice one. It's, it's got a cool little world map kind of thing. I've seen this board range in price quite a bit, all the way down to $30 when it's been on sale online, all the way up to $70, $75. See if I can find it online and put that link in the description, as I said. As you'll notice here, as we jump up in price, so does the size of a lot of these boards. So here's that one right there. This is the second one we were showing. And then here's the little guy of that first one. So you can see the sizes vary quite a bit. So this one that I'm showing you here is an 18 inch board. The pieces are a nice size. And it, it's just a great set. And the reason why I, I think if you're getting into backgammon, Something like this would be almost my first recommendation to almost skip over the stitched points because these points are kind of set into the board. They're not stitched. It's almost like a, a raised printing of sorts. It's just all one piece, which is really nice. It makes sliding your pieces around much easier, more effortless. And let's say we just, you know, we wanna make roll double twos or something, and we wanna move it down, it just slides around really effortless, effortlessly. I think a board like this is gonna last you a little longer, especially if you're playing a lot. You don't have to worry about that stitching coming up. And this board was pretty much all we played on for a good six months. This was our everyday go-to board, taking it to friends, taking it to family, taking it to coffee shops. We got a lot out of this board and we still get a lot out of this board. It did fall off a table at one point when we were outside at a coffee shop. Uh, it fell onto concrete. So, and it, it held up overall really good. It did get a little bit, uh, where are we here? Uh, it did get a little bit of uh, an edge ding here. The, the, the edge came up a little bit. And I mean, that's gonna happen over time when you're playing with your boards, uh, especially if things like that happen, if things fall. The exterior obviously is a little bit dinged up, but as far as the interior, perfectly fine. No issues whatsoever. The handle on this one is already starting to show a little bit of wear. The biggest one being, since it's metal here, uh, it kind of digs in over time to the side and the side handle here is starting to kind of come apart a little bit. Like I said, we've had this board for a little over a year and uh, it just wears and tears over a while, you carrying it. Uh, the handle like this would be pretty easy to fix it on your own though, or to, to make something to, you know, to fix that. The dice cups on here, they're a little bit more padded than the other ones, which I like. Nice little insert here to have it padded. Great sound on these as well. I like kind of that deep sound they give. And then there's the shakeout. All right, last and uh, most expensive in this roundup. And of course the biggest, we have this Silverman and Co board. When I was originally looking into making the up upgrade basically from that previous board, I was just showing the map board. I, one of the boards that kept coming up uh, was Silverman & Co. And that's what this board is right here. Beautiful board. I really dig this board. This is the newest board to me. Uh, it went on sale at Gammon Village. That's something, that's where you buy these from. I don't believe I found them anywhere else in the US at least. Gammon Village is I think one of the only carriers of this board but they had a, a sale. that they, These sales come up from time to time, so that's definitely something to keep an eye out for. Just like that last one, there's no stitched surface. It's all uh, one piece, essentially. And the really cool thing about these boards is that they come in a bunch of different colors. 
different playing surfaces, different exteriors. I think brown and black were the main ones. That might've been it actually. But the inside is always, uh, or the inside can vary quite a bit. And I believe the checkers were always black and white. But the nice thing about this set is that this is the biggest checkers by far of all the ones we've looked at here quite a bit. And they have a nice sound to them too. Um, let's get them all lined up here. Nice fit down on the bottom there. For all of you watching who know what precision dice are, this set does not come with precision dice. Uh, it just comes with regular dice like the other ones. I just have some precision dice in here because I took this set to uh, our local club and a shoe at a couple times. Of course, I can't speak to long-term long or longevity with this board, but I think it will do quite well. There are a few points that I did want to bring up. The clasps on the, this board are basically the same style clasps that you would get on the $40 board. They're nothing too crazy or fancy or special, so that's something to think about. And also the handle on this board. It's kind of, it looks really nice. It's a great looking handle. It, it feels good in the hand, but I think it's kind of like a, a molding of two hollow pieces coming together. And then there's like a little like faux leather going over the top here. In long term, I've seen some other boards where, especially if it's uh, introduced to a lot of heat or cold, I never recommend leaving your boards in the car, especially on summer days, because that just messes with the glue. But I could see if this was stored in a hot place or something like that, that this handle would start coming apart. Like I said, I don't know if that's the case, but that's kind of the vibe I get from this. Uh, so clasps, handle, other than that, I I don't have much bad to say about this board. It's just really solid, feels good, good weight to it. It's 19 inches, I didn't mention that yet. And uh, the dice cups are, are nice as well. Uh, they do have a little bit of, of give to them, so they're still like your typical kind of cardboardy kind of cups, faux, uh, faux leather and such. But overall, I, I really like this board, and it comes with a slightly bigger doubling cube. This is the first board that has a slightly bigger doubling cube. And maybe some of you don't play with doubling cubes, that's okay, but when you do start using it, a bigger doubling cube is really nice. And uh, I don't have the dice handy that it comes with, but it's basically the same dice that were in the past two boards. But the dice sound good in the cup too. And they have a nice sound on the board as well. It's just, it's almost like a, a it's got a little bit of padding underneath it and it has just a really, I mean, I've played on a lot of nicer boards and it kind of has a premium sound to it when you roll the dice out. Very nice. Let's actually grab this previous set here for one to see the size difference, 18 inches versus 19 inches. Not a huge difference, but there is a difference. I just wanna grab more normal dice. These uh, are drilled dice versus the precision dice that I added to this other set. Actually, that's a great point. If you would like to see a video on regular dice versus precision dice, let me know in the comments. But here, so this is kind of like the dice that would come with a little bit brighter sound to it. They're like more of a heavy sounding dice. Another thing to mention are the checkers fit nice and snug in this set, which I'm a big fan of. The, the other ones being a little looser, it's not a big deal, but there's something to be said about a board that fits your checkers really snugly. There's a little bit of give there, but not too bad. And uh, one thing to note is that it comes with this little like, I wouldn't say it's a divider, but it, it, it pushes out the piece a little bit here to make it a little snugger. So you have to put it on this side because if you load the checkers into this side, the board won't close. All right, that's all I have for this video. I have all four of the boards spread out on the table here. At the end of the day, they all have their pros and cons. Uh, they're all great boards in their own right. And if you're looking for a board that's very, uh, boards that are very, very much like, I don't know what I'm gonna be doing here. I don't know if I wanna get into this game. I don't play that often. These two boards here, great. If you've played a little bit and you wanna get a nicer board, I would definitely gravitate towards these two boards over here. And if you do have the budget for it, for under $200, this Silverman & Co. is a really nice board. 
And at the end of the day, no matter what board you're playing on, they're all gonna let you do what they're meant to do, and that's play the game of backgammon. And uh, that's what I would encourage you to do. Just get a board, have fun with it, and get out there and learn and play, make friends, and uh, have a good time with this game we all love. Until the next one, take care.